and 225 wow what an aircraft unfortunately this is actually destroyed by the russian army or air force so we are going to see the history of it and where the new an225 is there so let's begin so this aircraft was actually originated from the soviet union which is actually now in kiev ukraine so this is possible by the an124 which is still in service after 30 years of service in the aviation industry this is possible by adding one engine and expanding the wings to 628 meters and this is actually the official video released by antonov companies in kiev ukraine so this is actually the final test on the ground of the an225 this aircraft needed 32 landing gears and six turbo fans to power up this big boy so the rollout of the an225 starts on november 30 1988 and it was displayed in front of thousands of people so the first captain of the airplane was alexander halonenko this aircraft actually needed 10 people to pilot it and it was finally coming out of the hangar displayed in front of thousands of people this is actually used for the transport of the buran space shuttle and this is the image of the buran space shuttle carried by the an225 so it was actually taxied to the runway at soviet union i don't know what the, the uh, airport was but it was actually taxied there and this was meant to be the world's largest aircraft till 25th february 2022 i meant 24th february 2022 so on December 21, 1988, the maiden flight of the AN-225 Maria was starting. So this airplane taxi to the runway at some point. The aircraft finally taxi to the runway and it is getting ready for a takeoff. And this aircraft was actually very complicated to power up. Only Russian pilots and Ukrainian pilots can actually do this so because all the instruments were written in russian so finally at december 21 1988 the maiden flight of the an-225 was successfully took off from the runway and it actually powered up many power like 400 000 pounds of thrust and this is the flight test of the AN-225. So this aircraft was actually created in the Cold War. And right now the pilots are piloting it for the flight test. And now it actually has a pointy nose in front of it. I don't know what is it. But this was actually the first time the AN-225 was in the skies. So right now actually performing let us see how the aircraft performs at the flight test does that mean the AA 225 will not be there I think it could be there because there's actually an another AA 225 which is being built right now at Sviatoshin Airport in Kyiv, which is actually near Kyiv Zuliani Airport, and Antonov Company. The Antonov Company needs three hundred million dollars to finish the aircraft. Seventy percent of the aircraft has been completed, and I'm going to show you where the old AN-225 was actually destroyed. It was actually destroyed at. Uh, Hangar at Kiev Hostomel Airport near Kiev Zulian Airport. So this, so the hangar I am showing right now is where the AN-225 destroyed aircraft was there. And I'm actually a bit sad 
and i also confused will the new an225 come or not so i think it could come if some country helps like america can help it but i don't know if the an225 will come back so who are in the aviation industry don't feel bad the an225 will definitely come back in the years